Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches free from the Geodes collection from the brand What's Up Nails slash What's Up Beauty. I have um, six polishes to look at that are available now as well as an eyeshadow palette. Then big disclosure, I am not a makeup artist. I don't do um, eyeshadow swatches, but I did my best. So um, that's in here as well. Like I said, these are available right now. So in the description box, I will link the What's Up Nails slash Beauty site. I'll link their Instagram pages and then I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. So like I said, we have six polishes and one palette to look at today and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Rhodonite and this one is a pink leaning kind of terracotta color and it does dry to a matte finish. So here's our first coat of Rhodonite, and this one does cover pretty much completely in one coat, but with matte finishes, I do like to make sure it is 100% covered, so I am going to go in for two. Also with the matte finish, you are going to notice any little imperfection on your nails, so be sure to use a good base coat. This does dry down decently fast, but not too quick, and removal is easy, so here it is at its matte finish. Up next we have Clay and this one is a kind of green tinted nude cream. Here's our first coat of Clay and this one is very opaque here on this first coat. Almost a one coater but not quite there for me. A very smooth, very easy formula to work with. No running, pulling, or staining. So I did get that full coverage in two coats. I do recommend using top coat to protect your manicure and help it last just a little bit longer. And there are two coats of Clay. Play. Up next we have a gate and this one is a copper and it does go have this shifty shimmer that goes from a pink to a purpley red kind of color and then all the way into a gold. Here's our first coat of Agate. This one does cover decently well here on this first coat. I was able to get full coverage in two. Depending on your application, you might end up needing three, but again, a wonderful formula to work with. I didn't have any texture when this dried down and I didn't have any problems with the sticking to my nail when I removed. However, it did stick to the skin a little bit and there are two coats. Up next we have Peridot and this one is a sage base and then it's got this gold to green to blue shifty shimmer. Here's our first coat of Peridot. This one is a little bit more sheer than the last one that we looked at. I still got full coverage in two coats but again depending on your application you might want to go in for three. Again a wonderful formula to work with. I didn't have any issues with anything in this collection. I recommend top coat to keep your manicure lasting. Nothing dries textured and removal is relatively easy. Next we have Earthlike and this is called a gem encrusted um, nail polish but this one is a kind of reddy brown base and it's got these tiny little silver blue micro flakes in there. Here's our first coat of Earthlike. This one is a little bit sheer here on this first coat. I am going to show you two coats today, but for this one and the next one, depending on how picky you are, you might want to go in for three. I do find as you build up textured polishes, though, you do lose a little bit of texture with each coat you add, so I do try to keep it on the thinner side. And lastly for today we have Crystal and this one is also one of those gem encrusted ones. This is a, another earthy tone and the little crystal quote pieces in there are a red and blue. And here's our first coat of Crystal. Again, I'm showing you two coats. Again, you might end up wanting a third. With these two textured polishes, you can add top coat like I did to hide the texture of them or um, keep them matte and textured. And removal will take some scrubbing so there are two coats. And here's just a quick look at each of the eyeshadows. This first one is a matte and it's rock. This next one is called Crystal and it is a shifty duochrome. This one is Amethyst, again another shifty color, a little bit more sheer. This one is Citrine, again nice and shifty. Here's Peridot, this one does match the nail polish perfectly. And here is Clay and this one is a matte. 
that's the first row and then moving on to the second row this is my favorite that one was rose quartz here we have a gate and these are both shifty here is road knight and she's a matte here is earth like and another shifty shimmer here is lava i love this color but i'm scared to put it on my eyes and then here is tara another matte so that's a look at the second row of shadows in the palette. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you played in picking any of them up or the palette. And let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I will talk to you again next time. Bye.